An abdominoplasty is an operation that is designed to undo, in general, all the things that children have done to women during pregnancy. During pregnancy, obviously, as the child grows, the two muscles that normally go up and down in your belly are stretched out and separated, and the skin is also stretched out frequently beyond its ability to compensate. So after children, many women have laxity in both the abdominal muscular wall as well as the skin. And abdominoplasty, if properly performed, is designed to correct both of those issues as well as improve the overall shape and contour of a woman's abdomen. During abdominoplasty, a low incision is made from hip bone down low to where a C-section scar would be, then back up to the other hip bone. The entire skin is elevated up to the ribcage. The muscles that go up and down, which have been stretched out through pregnancy, are sewn back together to provide a tight, flat uh, base for the abdomen. The extra skin is then pulled down and removed. At the same time, I personally do liposuction on virtually every patient who has an abdominoplasty. I think that at its core, an abdominoplasty is removing skin from the inferior part of the abdomen, but it can be much more than that. And many surgeons who just remove that piece of skin don't pay attention to the contouring aspects of the abdominoplasty. When you perform liposuction at the same time, you can thin the waist, narrow the shape, and return the woman to more of an hourglass shape, which she had before having children. Sometimes you can even make their shape a little bit better than before they had children. So abdominoplasty, when coupled with liposuction, is provides a huge opportunity to really reshape and recontour a woman's abdomen. There are really only two types of abdominoplasty. The first, and by far the most powerful operation, is a full abdominoplasty in which the traditional incision is made. Again, the skin is elevated all the way up to the ribcage and the muscles are repaired. For some women who do not have lax issues above the belly button, we can restrict the surgery to below, making a shorter incision, repairing a muscular defect below the belly button, and then removing a smaller amount of skin. Again, that applies to a relatively small percentage of the population who have no lax issues above their belly button. So patients frequently ask, what is it that I can do to make sure my operation turns out the best? Should I take medication ahead of time? Should I take vitamins? The answer is you should properly plan to have a good recovery time where you can really commit to yourself, which in particular is hard for mothers, to make sure that you've got the time to recover. If you do that, the operations go well and people recover beautifully, but it does take a little bit of time.